here's the progress we have so far. I got the whole base set to, set up, so basically the squat rack's done. Um, right now I'm working on putting the cables on for the lat pull down. I actually had a little mishap where uh, this part on here slides up and down on this bar and I actually attached it at the top before I put that on there so I had to take this whole top part off and I had to slide it back on there and then I just screwed all those on. Yeah, these bolts suck. You know, putting them on here I can barely even see these ones up here and I had to I had to screw them on blindly and my shoulders are starting to die. Especially since I had to do it twice. So basically, um, let's see what page we're on. One, two, three, four. We're on page five out of six, I think. I mean, that's just for the cables, so I think we're doing that. Right now I'm on these ones, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these cables on. Hopefully I didn't forget anything else. I just took a break to eat some food because I'm dying. <laughs> Been working on this for a few hours now. But anyway, so I'm gonna get back to it. I think I'm on these ones. I'm pretty sure I just finished this one, so I have to put all the pulleys on. And I'll get back with you once I get that over with, so. All right, one step closer to finishing. I got the pulley system all set up, the cables. Actually wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. I mean, the, the manual actually does look easy in there, but at first glance it looks like it's gonna be pretty difficult, but it's pretty simple actually. All you had to do is run the wire up over the top of the first pulley, over the second one down, and then it connects these and by gravity this thing holds it on here so you can attach the bottom part because it's two cables that actually come together in order for this to work, so. I reach up here and pull down on it. Comes up. Doesn't really feel too smooth, but I think I've read in reviews that it'll be a lot smoother over time once it gets like adjusted, because like these cables are a little bent right now. I think they'll straighten out a lot more once there's more tension on them. Um, let's see if this one works. Actually, I haven't used this one. Yep, still works. And so I'm um, basically on the last part, I'm just going to be installing the, the rails on the side or the, the safety rails and then the, the lap bar. And I think that's about it. So I should be done with this in a, probably about 5-10 minutes and then I'll be right back for the next part. And just like that, the rack is complete. I feel really good getting this done because I can finally work out in my basement relatively safely. I just added on these bars. It's got a lat bar on it for the lat pull down, but as you can see, it's not really that stable, but I guess like if you have your legs up on that, it'll push up on it and it'll keep it more stable. Um, the only thing I can really like say is that it will be really annoying for squatting. I like to have the bar right here. So this is definitely in the way if I'm trying to unrack it. So I'm gonna have to take this off, but luckily it's just got a pull pin on it so you can take it off. Um, other than that, that's pretty good. And also they added, they uh, also included some stickers that you can put on to mark all the holes, which is always a huge thing. Like I've always seen in the gym, like nor normally they don't have numbers on them. Um, so it's a lot easier to line things up a lot faster and all of these come off pretty easily. It's just your standard slide ones. Other than that, it's complete. This gets tucked away up here, which is pretty cool. Um, not much really more to say about it, except here's all the packaging. Uh, yeah, there was a lot. Everything was in bubble wrap, every single thing. And I can now put my bench under there. It's a little messy, I was eating and stuff. But yeah, I'm hoping that it all lines up correctly because I want a bench under here. And you know, benching, it's, it's one of the hardest things to get up if you don't have like a partner or something or some way of, you know, not dying because it's hard to push yourself and there's that fear of failing. So this is definitely going to be useful. I can work out down here now. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'll have a little update on it and how well it works after a while, but for now I'm just excited to finally start using this. I might just use it today. That's about it. If you enjoyed or have any questions, go ahead and leave them. This is the BD7 by Valor Fitness. We'll see how it is.